In this video, I'm going to show you how to reverse park perfectly using lines and the side mirror as a guide. If you want to reverse park in a marked bay, you count four lines. If you're driving a large sedan like I am in this video, so this is the second line, we're going to go to the third one. Keep it straight and as close as possible to the left. Line up your side mirror with the fourth line. Now we're going to reverse starting to steer immediately so do not wait because a lot of people complain that this guide or rule whatever you might call it doesn't work for them it's never going to work if you don't start to steer immediately and if you don't keep your speed low okay so that's very important if you pass a certain distance say if you pass longer than one meter without steering and in fact without fully locking your steering wheel it may not work in this scenario, if you accelerate heavily and if you steer slowly, you're not going to be able to track your path properly and it's going to be too late to make any corrections. Even if I steer fast, but if I still go fast, if I move fast backwards, it's not going to happen because I've already missed the bay that I intended to park into. Now, if I accelerate and gently brake to maintain low speed, I've still got my foot over the brake here and then letting the car move slowly so I'm not pressing the brake but I'm holding the foot over the brake in case I need to slow down. You can use your reverse camera but ideally check all angles okay. We recommend that you change your viewing angle every two and a half seconds or so. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to correct your path if you believe you've missed the bay, especially when there's no vehicle parked. If you notice that you might be a little bit wide, don't stop the maneuver. You can keep going and don't stress that you're going across the line. Once your front wheels got over the line, you can straighten them back by turning right sharply until you can see that your front wheels are back inside of your bay. If your observation skills are up to scratch, you shouldn't have a problem with this. A lot of people don't even get marked by the assessor if they did that successfully. If you have to do any corrections, you can simply go forward by about one, one and a half lengths of your car and then and make some minor corrections as you reverse. You're not going to lose any points if you make some necessary adjustments to your path, as long as you do it without delay. Once you've made minor corrections when you went forward, just simply reverse backwards. Avoid sharp turning because this maneuver is categorized as a minor adjustment. If you overuse your reverse camera, you will get marked for it. Try to cover as many angles as possible and make sure that you check them frequently. In conclusion, if this method doesn't work for you, it's the coordination of your steering and your movement. So you have to steer at the high rate and you have to move slowly. So, you know, once you get the movement, you should keep the momentum, you shouldn't completely stop. And most importantly, practice with the car that you're taking for your driving assessment so you can determine geometry, whether you're lining up with your third or fourth line, depending on the size of your vehicle. As always, feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.